Hello, I'm Knight of Christ Jesus here. I happened to stumble over a video in YouTube saying that Jesus was a Buddhist monk. All his teachings come from Buddha's teaching and he was able to perform miracles for having learned it from Buddha himself. If you happen to type in the search text field of YouTube, Jesus is Buddhist monk, you will get thousands and thousands of videos related to this trying to say that Jesus learned from Buddha and he was a Buddhist monk. When I typed, I got about 94,000 results aiming to say that Jesus was a Buddhist monk. It is a heinous crime to spread such false news. You can see here, there is a BBC documentary which says Jesus was a Buddhist monk. And there is another video, a complete documentary about hidden story of Jesus which tries to say that he lived in India. Another one which says BBC documentary proves Jesus was a Buddhist monk named Isa. Another one Jesus Buddhism in Kashmir India. Here they also show the grave of Jesus in Kashmir. Then why wait? If you have the tomb of Jesus in the Kashmir, you should have raked it open and seen if you have the crucifixion mark on his feet and hands. This could be a challenge to the resurrection concept of Jesus. And not only BBC, you can see here the missing years of Jesus, a national geography channel, also trying to say that Jesus lived in India and he learnt it from Buddha. In a short while from now, I will be proving to you Jesus was not a Buddhist monk. There was nothing what Jesus had to learn from Buddha. On the contrary, it is the other way that Buddha had to learn so much from Jesus. Buddha was a philosopher, but Jesus was God. In a short while now, I'll be proving this to you. The Kissa Gautami story reveals that Buddha was a philosopher and not God. Therefore, he had no power over life and death. The Kissa Gautami and the Buddha story go this way. Kissa Gautami lived in Savati. She was known as Kitsa Gautami because of her slim body. She married a rich young man and a son was born to them. The son died when he was a toddler and Kisa Gautami was stricken with grief. Carrying her dead son, she went everywhere asking for medicine to restore her son to life. People thought she had gone mad. But a wise man seeing her pathetic condition decided to send her to the Buddha. He advised her, Sister, the Buddha is the person you should approach. He has the medicine you want. Go to him. Thus she went to the Buddha and asked him to give her the medicine that would restore her dead son to life. The Buddha told her to get some mustard seeds from a home where there had been no death. Overjoyed at the prospect of having her son restored to life, Kisa Gautami ran from house to house, begging for some mustard seeds. Everyone was willing to help, but she would not find a single home where death had not occurred. The people were only too willing to part with their mustard seeds. The people were only too willing to part with their mustard seeds, but they could not claim to have not lost a dear one in death. As the day dragged on, she realized hers was not the only family that had faced death and there were more people dead than living. As soon as she realized this, her attitude towards her dead son changed. She was no longer attached to the dead body of her son and she realized how simply the Buddha had taught her a most important lesson that everything that is born must eventually die. She buried her dead son and told the Buddha that she could find no family where death had not occurred. Then the Buddha said, Gautami, you should not think that you are the only one who has lost a son. As you have now realized, death comes to all beings before their desires are satisfied. Death takes them away. This story was obtained 
from a reliable source of information related to Buddhism. ಇದು ನನ್ನ ಪರಮ ಗುರು ಬುದ್ಧದೇವನ ಆವಾಸ ಸ್ಥಾನ ಶಾಂತಿಯ ನೆಲೆಮನೆ ಸುಗುಡಕ್ಕೆ ಅಶಾಂತಿಗೆ ಕಣ್ಣೀರಿಗೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎಡೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಸಹೋದರಿ ಏನಂದ್ರೆ ಕಣ್ಣೀರಿಗೆ ಎಡೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ಆ ನಿನ್ನ ಗುರು ನನ್ನ ಕಣ್ಣೀರನ್ನು ತೊಡೆದು ಹೋಗುವನೆ ಈ ನನ್ನ ಕಣ್ಣ ಮನೆಗೆ ಮರಳಿ ಜೀವ ಕೊಡುವನೆ ಮರಳಿ ಜೀವ ಕೊಟ್ಟರೂ ಕೊಡಬಹುದು ಅವನು ಸಿದ್ಧ ಜೀವಿ ಬದುಕನ್ನು ಗೆದ್ದು ನಿಂತವನು ಅನುಸರಿಸಿ ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡಿರುವ ನಿನಗೂ ಮಾಯೆಯ ಕೆರೆ ಕವಿಯಿದೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಗುರುದೇವ ನನ್ನ ನೋವೆಲ್ಲ ತನ್ನ ಕಂಡಮ್ಮನನ್ನು ಕಳೆದುಕೊಂಡು ಪರಿತಪಿಸುತ್ತಿರುವ ಪಡಬಲ್ಲಿಯ ತಂದೆ ಜೀವ ತುಂಬಲೇಬಹುದು ತಾಯಿ ಅದಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ನೀನೊಂದು ಹಿರಿಮದ್ದು ತರಬೇಕು ಅದಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ನಾನೊಂದು ಹಿರಿಮದ್ದು ತರಬೇಕು ಮದ್ದದಾವುದು ಬೇಗ ಹೇಳು ತಂದೆ ಬೇಗ ಹೇಳಿ ತಕ್ಕ ತಕ್ಕಿಸುವ ನೀಚಿನ ಗೊಂಚಿನ ಅಗತ್ಯವಾಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂಸ ನಿರ್ಸಿ ಕೇಳಿ ಬಾಪು ನನ್ನ ಕೂಸಿನ ಬದುಕಿದಂತೆ ಇದು ಈ ಕ್ಷಣದಲ್ಲೇ ತರ್ತೇನೆ ತಂದೆ ಈ ಕ್ಷಣದಲ್ಲೇ ತರ್ತೇನೆ ತಾಯಿ ತಾಯಿ ಸಾಸದೆ ಕೇವಲ ಸಾಸ್ವೆಯ ಕಾಳೆ ಆ ಕ್ಷುದ್ರ ವಸ್ತುವಿಗಾಗಿ ಏಕೆಷ್ಟು ದೈನ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಆಚರಿಸುತ್ತೀರಿ ತಂದು ನೀಡುವೆ ತಾಯಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಅಣ್ಣನನ್ನು ಕಳೆದುಕೊಂಡು ದುಃಖ ಇನ್ನೂ ಹೋಗಿಲ್ಲ ತಾಯಿಯನ್ನು ಕಳೆದುಕೊಂಡು ಇನ್ನೂ ಎಂಟು ದಿನಗಳು ಕಳೆದಿಲ್ಲ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ತರಲೇ ನಿಮಗೆ ತಾಯಿ ಮೂರು ಮಕ್ಕಳನ್ನೈದ ಆ ಕೂಡು ದೈವ ಒಂದು ನಾಲ್ಕನೇ ಕೂಸನ್ನು ಕರೆದುಕೊಂಡ ದುಃಖದ ಕರಳಲ್ಲಿ ಅದ್ದಿರುವ ನನ್ನನ್ನು ಈಗೆಲ್ಲ ಕೆರೆ ಅಣಕಿಸಲು ಬಂದೆಯಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲ ಎಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲೂ ಒಂದೇ ಸಾವಿಲ್ಲದ ಮನೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಸಾವಿಲ್ಲದ ಮನೆಯೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇನ್ನು ನನಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಸಿಗಬೇಕು ಸಾಸಿವೆ ಕಾಳು ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಸಿಗಬೇಕು ಬಂದಿಯ ತಾಯಿ ಕಿಸಲು ಹಿರಿಮದ್ದು ಆ ಕಾಳು ಎಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲೆದರೂ ಸಾಸಿವೆಯೇ ಸಿಗಲಿಲ್ಲ ಏನಂದೆ ಎಲ್ಲಿಯೂ ಸಾಸಿವೆಯೇ ಸಿಗಲಿಲ್ಲವೇ ತಾಯಿ ಬರೀ ಸಾಸಿವೆ ಏನೋ ಎಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲೂ ಇತ್ತು ಆದರೆ ಸಾವಿಲ್ಲದ ಮನೆಯ ಸಾಸಿವೆ ಮಾತ್ರ ಎಲ್ಲೂ ಸಿಗಲಿಲ್ಲ ತಂದೆ ಎಲ್ಲಿಯೂ ಸಿಗಲಿಲ್ಲವೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ತಂದೆ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋದರಲ್ಲಿ ಮೃತ್ಯುವಿನ ರಿಂಗಣ ಕುಣಿತ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಂದು ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲೂ ಸಾವಿನ ನೆರಗಳ ಸುಳಿದಾಟ ಜಾತಸ್ಯ ಮರಣಂ ಧ್ರುವಂ ಹುಟ್ಟಿದವರು ಸಾಯಲೇಬೇಕು ನಮ್ಮ ಬದುಕು ಬರೀ ಭ್ರಮೆ ಮೋಹದ ಪರಿಮೆ ಮುಚ್ಚಿದ ನನ್ನ ಕಣ್ಣು ತೆರೆದಿಲ್ಲ ನನ್ನ ಭ್ರಮೆಯನ್ನು ಪೂರ್ಣವಾಗಿ ಹರಿದು ಹೋಯಿತು ಶವವನ್ನು ಸಂಸ್ಕಾರಕ್ಕೆ ಬಿಟ್ಟುಕೊಡುತ್ತೇನೆ ಕನಸನ್ನು ಮರೆಯುತ್ತೇನೆ ಮರೆತು ನಿನ್ನ ಬದುಕು ಸಾಗಿಸು ಜ್ಞಾನದ ಪಥದಲ್ಲಿ ಹೆಜ್ಜೆ ಇಡುತ್ತ ಸಾಗು ನಿನಗೆ ಮಂಗಳವಾಗಲಿ ಆಜ್ಞೆ ದೇವ I beseech thee, my little daughter lieth at the point of death. I pray thee, come and lay thy hands on her. She may be healed. 
She shall live. Take me to your home. Why make you this to do and weep? She is not dead, but sleepeth. Leave this house. house this day. Let her be given something to eat. hath visited his people.
Lord, behold, he whom thou lovest is sick. This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified thereby. Let us go into Judea again. Master, the Jews of late sought to stone thee, and goest thou thither again? Are there not twelve hours in the day? If any man walk in the day, he stumbleth not, because he seeth the light of this world. But if a man walk in the night, he stumbleth, because there is no light in him. Our friend Lazarus sleepeth. But I go that I may wake him out of sleep. Lord, if he sleep, he shall do well. Lazarus is dead. And I am glad for your sakes that I was not there. To the intent ye may believe. Nevertheless, let us go unto him. Been here, my brother had no time. But I know that even now, whatsoever thou wilt ask of God, God will give it thee. My brother shall rise again. I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection of the last day. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? Yeah, Lord. I believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of God, which you come to the world. Go and bring thy sister. of the blind have caused that even this man should not have died? Take you away the stone. Lord, by this time he stinketh, for he hath been dead four days. 
said I not unto thee, that if thou wouldst believe, I should see the glory of God. that thou hearest me always. But because of the people which stand by, I said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. Lazarus, Come forth. We must return to the city to tell the others. Come with us. Woman, why weepest thou? Whom seekest thou? Sir, 
If thou have borne him hence, tell me where thou hast laid him, and I will take him away. Mary. Rabboni. Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my father. But go to my brethren, and say unto them, I ascend unto my father. And your father, and to my God, and your God. Peace be unto you. Why are ye troubled? And why do thoughts arise in your hearts? Behold my hands and my feet that it is I myself. Handle me and see, for a spirit hath not flesh and bones as ye see me have. Do you hear any meat? These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses, and in the prophets, and in the Psalms concerning me. Thus it is written, and thus it behooved Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. And ye are witnesses of these things. And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. Peace be unto you. As my Father hath sent me, even so send I you. If you don't believe in resurrection, you are not alone. Thomas, one of Jesus' own disciples, did not believe that Jesus is risen until he put in his finger into the wounds of Jesus. We have seen the Lord. Except I shall see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and thrust my hand into his side. I will not believe. Peace be unto you. Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands. And reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side. Be not faithless, but believing. My 
my Lord and my God. Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. Jesus and the mustard seed. Jesus said, if you have faith as small as mustard seed, you can move mountains. In the name of Jesus, Jesus said, go preach the good news starting from Jerusalem to the ends of the world. Heal the sick, free the captive and raise the dead. Ask anything in my name and my father will do it for you. Not only Jesus was capable of performing miracles, but also he gave the authority to certain people who had immense faith in him, like his disciples and apostles, who were capable of performing miracles in the name of Jesus. St. Paul and Peter. Peter was the disciple and Paul was the apostle who performed miracles in the name of Jesus while preaching the gospel. And St. Anthony of Padua performed the numerous miracles in the name of Jesus. He was able to talk to infant Jesus while praying. When he bought the Eucharist and he made a mule kneel in front of the Eucharist and worship and offer his honor. He was able to preach to the fishes and he fixed the amputated lower limb of a youth and the list goes on. In the name of Jesus, you can perform miracle. This authority is given by Jesus himself to the one who believes in him honestly and sincerely. My heartfelt gratitude for this video viewers. May God bless you all.